I'm inside my apartment. It's official. I am moving to New York City. I can't believe that I'm moving to Manhattan. I am shaking. <sighs> In this video, I will be showing you guys my New York City apartment. As soon as you enter, it's the living room and the kitchen's right there, so it's open concept. It has very high ceilings. On top of the bathroom, there is a loft as well. Most likely I'll be using it for storage. So I also have this intercom to bust someone in and then I have these features as well to talk if someone buzzes my apartment. And on this side is the bedroom. The bedroom also has tall windows and then high ceiling as well. I love this detail. And I'm planning to install privacy screen on the bottom half of all the windows. I'll have obviously long curtains. In that way I can keep the windows open during daytime as well. More closet space here as well as on the top. That was the selling point for this apartment. The closet is very deep as well. So my long dresses will be on this side. Probably have to get a double bed, not a queen. But I have my own bedroom, which is so rare. Really do is here in the room as well. I thought the noise would bother me a lot, but right now I think I'm okay so far. Initially I was thinking to make the bedroom as the office and entertainment area and make the living space as the bedroom, but I've decided to just use the bedroom as a bedroom. And once I close this door, you can't really hear much noise from the street. I'm thinking to make this space as my office space and have the couch here and then have the TV here. I do need a kitchen island because there isn't any counter space. So basically every corner will be designated for something. This would be the living space, kitchen, and then workstation here. I've requested to remove this whiteboard because I'm not planning to use it and this is good space for me to decorate so definitely this is coming off. I wish there was more space like counter space but I'm just happy that I have a full-size fridge, a few cabinets. I haven't even checked out the cabinets when I came to view the apartment because you know when you view the apartment you're just glancing through it not checking everything. So this is my first time checking everything today. Oh, I don't have any drawer space, so something to keep in mind when I get the kitchen uh, island. Good space here. I'm excited about the full-size fridge. <laughs> my phone, I almost dropped my phone. Oh my God, hold on, hold on guys. So there's good storage for the kitchen. So they are going to change these silver I don't know what's it called, but these silver things. And the kitchen does not come with a microwave. So I think I'm gonna place the microwave here on top of the fridge. Now let's check the oven. Ah, oh, it's really good size. I can't open this. I thought you were able to open this, no? I guess not. And I was thinking I can use this space on the wall for some storage. I don't know what yet. The loft is pretty deep. It's not too claustrophobic and there are lights on the top. I thought there were lights, apparently you no. Know. Like I'm trying to extend as much as I can so you guys can see it. And now bathroom space. There's window in the bathroom as well. Tall windows. I just noticed this is oddly very low. I know this is such a weird angle, but 
I just wanted to show you guys how low the seat is. This is so low, it's like so tiny. And then medicine cabinet. Ugh. Oh, I can't open this. Hold on, this is where? Oh, it's from the side. Good space for skincare. I feel like all these cabinets that comes with the upper thing is so deceiving because I think it's a drawer, but it's not. And then storage here as well. It comes with a full bathtub, which is freaking awesome. I didn't realize that they have these gold hardware here. That's nice. Definitely to clean up. A lot of spider webs here. Storage. I love the storage in the bathroom. It's massive. Ignore my coat, it's too hot over here. I'm definitely gonna use this for like for my vacuum, extra paper towels, toilet paper, bedding, and stuff like that. Three main reasons why I decided to take this apartment. One is storage. There is good closet space in the bedroom, bathroom, as well as the loft space. The other apartments I saw, which was almost like the same square feet this one is just seems bigger because of the high ceilings because the high ceilings gives an illusion of a bigger space also there's distinction of living space as well as the bedroom space and third thing is location as well it's very convenient for me to take the express train so i did have to compromise on a couple of things but that's fine this is my first new york city apartment maybe in the next one i'll get all the things i wanted but weighing the pros and cons and everything i think this is the best i could have gotten in the market based on my price range plus there's no broker fee so yeah this is it for the empty apartment tour i'm so excited to decorate the apartment and make the space as my own i really hope you guys join this journey with me if you enjoy watching these kind of videos don't forget to hit subscribe and if you have an instagram my instagram is tisha and i will see you guys in my next one bye